Welcome everybody. We're starting on the floor today for our Zaha yoga class. So come on down onto the floor. Let your back and shoulders settle onto the floor. Become aware of your breath. Feeling that expansion as you breathe in. And some amount of relaxation as you breathe out. Oh, it feels so good here on the floor. <laughs> I just want to relax a little bit more. So you do that too. Find your neck in a lengthened and relaxed state. So maybe you'll bring your hands to the back of your neck and your head and draw those fingers up the neck to the occipital ridge. And give yourself a little side to side action with your fingertips on that occipital ridge. Move your head from side to side easily. Relax, breathe. Any amount of massage or stretch there with your fingertips at your neck, your occipital ridge, your shoulders. Do that here. Give yourself some extra love here. Thank you. Keep breathing in and out deeply and gently. See if you can relax and lengthen that neck even more. Let that chin dip down towards your chest a little bit as you lengthen the back of your neck. And as you feel complete with your fingers and your neck together, you can release those fingers away from your body down and have the palms face the ceiling. Relax here for a moment. Notice how you feel. Think about an external rotation of those arms and the shoulders as well. Snuggle the shoulders down and open up that upper body, externally rotating the arms, any amount with the palms facing the ceiling. How does that feel? Breathe in deeply and gently, exhale fully. Let's stretch the legs out and do a little bit of a lymphatic pump. So point and, fle uh, point and flex the toes, the ankles for that lymphatic pump. How does this feel? Does your whole body move up and down? Does your head nod? Mine does as I do this. Notice for you what happens in your body as you point and flex with that lymphatic pump. Keep breathing. As you finish complete with that lymphatic pump, bend those knees and bring the feet flat to the floor again. Notice how you feel. Snuggle around, get long in that lower back. Any amount, you can take your hands to your hips and press down gently, adjusting that spine into its lengthened state. Breathe, relax, keep breathing. And as you're ready with an inhale, pick the feet up off the floor. And as you exhale, gently draw the knees towards the chest or the shoulders. Do what feels best for you. Moving like that, inhaling, the knees come above the hips. Exhale, draw them towards the shoulders or hips. Any amount, inhale, moving the knees away from your chest or shoulders. Exhale, drawing them towards you, any amount. Coordinating that movement with the breath. Our nervous system is renewed and refreshed and we build resiliency. So that's why we're doing this with the breath. Any amount. Ah, feels good, yeah? You can move into any form of happy baby, lifting those soles of the feet up towards the ceiling. Notice how that changes, how your back is on the floor. Keep breathing. And maybe you'll rock side to side gently Lifting one foot up towards the ceiling. Feels good for me as I bend the other knee and then alternating. Notice what feels good for you here and do that. 
any amount. Movement, breath, keep it going. Even relaxation, letting those shoulders relax and continue to relax out evenly on both sides of your body as you move your lower body any amount. As you're ready, bring the feet flat to the floor. Adjust your spine. Get that long feeling in your spine again. And let's do a few half bridges. Let's do these half bridges with the hands starting above your solar plexus in a prayer pose. So bring your hands. Make sure those shoulders stay released away from the ears. Your elbows are relaxed. And as you inhale, keep the arms relaxed and the hands in a prayer pose. And with that inhale, lift those hips. Squeeze those gluteals, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, gently draw the hands and the arms up away from the body as your hips release down onto the floor. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale, relax the elbows, the shoulders, allow the arms to come down towards your lifting torso. And exhale, gently release those gluteals, relaxing the hips down, floating them down onto the floor as you reach gently away with the arms. Inhaling, the arms relax a little bit and the hips lift, floating up. Exhale. The gluteals relax and the hips float down as the arms reach gently away. How does this feel? Let's do it again. Inhale, squeezing those gluteals. The hips float up and the arms relax gently. Exhale, the hips float back down and reach those arms away. Feel that squeeze gently. The pectorals squeeze a little bit. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. Floating the hips up, relaxing the arms a little bit, but staying with that prayer pose. And exhale, release the gluteals, float the hips down, and reach those arms away from the body any amount. Good. Let's release those hands, bring them up around to alongside the body. Snuggle around, get nice and long, and do a few half bridges, sweeping the arms up overhead as you inhale. Floating the arms up overhead, floating the hips up. How does this feel different than what we did before? And as you exhale, float everything back down onto the floor. Inhaling, floating up. Feel this pose. What happens to your neck? As you exhale, relax, float everything back down onto the floor. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, floating the arms up, floating the hips up. Does your head nod a little bit as the chin comes close to the chest? Staying here, just notice as you exhale, keep the arms up there. Let the elbows release out a little bit and let the hips release down a little bit as you exhale. And then as you inhale, squeeze those gluteals, reach the arms up overhead, stretch. Maybe drag those heels isometrically towards the shoulders. Exhale, soften, release, relax a little bit, but staying with those arms up overhead. One more time. Inhale, stretch up, the arms stretch up overhead, the hips squeeze those gluteals, lifting up. And now as you exhale, float everything back down onto the floor. Let's go ahead and separate those knees. Bring the feet flat to the floor. Notice how you feel here. Baddha Konasana. Flat to the floor. Uh, I'm sorry, not flat to the floor. Bring the soles of the feet together for a little Baddha Konasana. And rock side to side if that feels good for you. Letting your body massage those gluteals on the floor a little bit. Keep breathing. Let's stretch those legs out and do a pencil stretch here. So bring the arms up overhead again. You can point the index fingers and interlace the other fingers. And as you inhale, stretch from the core out both directions. As you exhale, soften, relax, let the limbs flop out. 
Inhale, point and stretch. Exhale, soften, flop, relax. One more breath. Inhale, point and stretch. And exhale, soften, flop, and relax. Now let's bring those arms alongside the body. Bend your knees, bring the feet flat to the floor. Roll over onto your side and gently using your arms, lift yourself up into our tabletop. So bring your uh, padding for under your knees. Have a nice platform of padding for your knees. And we'll do some of our um, opposite limb stretches here. So come into your tabletop. Let the tops of your feet rest back, the toes pointing back behind you. Allow your hands to spread out if possible, your fingertips spreading out. How does that feel? Let's do a little bit of inhale forward, gently moving forward into a sunbird, looking up and exhale child's pose uh, before we begin our opposite limb stretches. So inhale, gently slide forward. Exhale, child's pose, elbows come down, hips reach back, relax the neck. Inhale forward, sunbird. Exhale, child's pose. One more time, inhale forward. Exhale, child's pose. This time if child's pose feels good for you, relax here for at least three breaths. Noticing how your spine is stretching and how it feels in this pose. As you finish those relaxing breaths, return to your tabletop, bringing those <laughs> knees right under the hips. Now let's do a little uh, different kind of motion before we move into our strong uh, side opposite limb stretches. So find yourself in this nice tabletop and bring your right knee up off the floor and stretch it out to the side. And you can look out to that right side as well. How does that feel? Let's do that just a few times. Just bring your knee up and turn to look in that direction and come back. Let's do it again about five times. Three, four, and five. Now this is an action we haven't done much in this class. Take your time now, close your eyes for a moment. Notice how you feel on that right side compared to the left after what you just did. Breathing in deeply, exhale fully. And let's do the other side similarly. So now you have to shift your weight mostly to that right knee and lift the left foot and turn to look in that direction and then come back. We'll do that four more times. Inhale, exhale, inhale. If it works with your breath, Use your breath with the motion. If not, that's okay too. Three, was that three or four? four? And there's five. Okay, notice how you feel. How do your hips feel? Do a little hip rotation here. Roll those hips. One, two, three times in one direction. And then three times in the other direction, gently. It can be a, just a tiny little circle any amount. Everybody's going to be a little different here. Now coming to center, let's do a little opposite limb stretch. So with an inhale, bring your right arm up and your left leg back. And exhale, let's bring the elbow and knee towards each other any amount and do that three times. Inhale, stretch out. Exhale, bring the knee and elbow towards each other. They don't have to touch. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, elbow and knee come towards each other and return to tabletop. Notice how you feel. Keep breathing. Let's do the other side like that. Left arm, right leg, inhale, stretch. Exhale, elbow and knee come towards each other any amount. 
Inhale, stretch. You have to have a certain amount of balance to do this, right? Exhale. One more time. Inhale, stretch. Exhale. Bring the elbow and knee towards each other any amount. And return to tabletop. Notice how you feel. Let's do inhale forward, tucking the toes this time. Exhale, down face dog. And we'll do that four more times. Bring the knees down, inhale. The toes come out to the point back. Exhale, the toes tuck, lifting into down face dog. Keep breathing and move at your own pace. Inhale, sunbird, exhale, down face dog. Let's do two more. Inhale forward, sunbird. Exhale, down face dog. Inhale forward, sunbird. And exhale, down face dog. This time staying here in down face dog. If that works for you, you can always come out of it if you need to. Keep breathing, release that neck. Think about widening, softening in between those shoulder blades any amount, especially as you exhale. As you inhale, feel the length and strength in your pose, pressing into those fingers and hands, lifting through those uh, hips. Exhale, soften a little bit, especially the elbows, the shoulders, the knees. Inhale, lift, lengthen, find your strong down face dog and exhale, soften any amount. One more time. Inhale, feel the length and strength and down face dog. And this time as you exhale, you can bring those knees down onto the floor and the tops of the feet come back onto the floor, release the wrists and do a little wrist rotation. Let your wrists be happy that they're not supporting you on the floor anymore. Keep breathing. You can take one hand, bring it to the other and give that hand a little extra love. And then do it with the other hand. Any amount, you can rub your hands together. Just give those hands a little extra energy. They've done so well supporting you in that tabletop. Let's shake them out a little bit. Roll the shoulders, give yourself a shoulder roll even as you're standing on your knees. Ah, yes, keep breathing. Now let's do our forward folds here, our pranams. So we'll start by bringing some energy into your heart twice, changing the cross of your hands, and then we'll go forward and we'll see where we go. As you inhale, stretch up, reach up. There might be a slight back bend here. Take care not to sway back. As you exhale, gather that good energy into your heart and look down or into your heart. Let's do that again, changing the cross of the hands. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. Exhale, bring that energy into your heart and look down or into your heart. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. This time let's bring both hands to the sacrum as we fold forward, bringing the forehead towards the floor any amount. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. Let's do that again, changing the cross of the hands. As you exhale, fold forward, bringing the hands to the sacrum and the forehead comes any amount towards the floor. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. Now let's do our asymmetrical. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm curling to the sacrum, opening up that right side any amount, if that feels good for you to look towards the right. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. Now the right arm forward, left arm curling to the sacrum, turning to open up towards the left, if that feels good for your body. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm curling to the sacrum, opening up towards the right. Where do you feel the stretch? Inhale up, stretch up, reach up. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm curling to the sacrum, opening that left shoulder 
towards the left, any amount. Inhaling, stretch up, reach up, we'll do both. Oh, one more time on each side, exhale, left arm forward, right arm curling to the sacrum and opening up towards the right, if that feels good for your neck and shoulder. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. Exhale, right arm forward, left arm curling to the sacrum, turning to open up towards the left. Inhale, stretch up, reach up. Now let's do puppy pose. As you exhale, bring both arms forward, stretching that spine strongly forward. Breathe. Stay here for three breaths, feeling the stretch in your spine, reaching forward through your fingertips, the arms, the crown of the head, and back through that tailbone and sacrum. As you're ready, gently slide or walk those hands back and tuck your toes and lift yourself to standing now. <laughs> Finally getting up. Yeah, we had 20 minutes on the floor. Okay, roll those shoulders. Find your mountain pose. Find those active feet. If it helps you to think about it, press into the toe mounds, the outer edges of the heels and lift the arches. Notice how that makes you feel. Stay nice and grounded here. Feel that groundedness through the bottoms of your feet. You're connected with the earth. Let the knees be soft. Let's do some moving mountains as you inhale. Bring the weight forward into the fronts of your feet as you gently lift those heels up off the floor and stretch up. Arms coming up overhead. And as you exhale, gently bring yourself back down on, uh, bring the weight back into your heels and those toes a little bit. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale, stretching up, reaching up, stretching those heels up off the floor if that feels good for you. And exhale, coming back down to mountain and then shifting the weight to the heels. Keep breathing any amount and wiggle those toes. Maybe you'll take an extra breath, wiggling those toes. And then with your next inhale, one more time, let's stretch up, reach up. This time, keep the arms up there. And as you exhale, bring the heels down so your arms stay up there. So you've exhaled. Now inhale again, stretch. You can look up if that feels good for your neck. And this time, as you exhale, let that right arm float down and turn your face to look towards the right any amount. And as you inhale, the arm floats up and the head comes forward. Exhale, left arm floats down, turning to look towards the left. Inhaling, the arm floats up and the head comes forward. Good. Exhale, right arm floats down, turning that head to look towards the right, any amount. Inhale, the arm floats up and the head turns forward again. Feel that stretch. Exhale, left arm floats down, turning to look towards the left. Inhale, floating up and the head turns forward again. Let's exhale, relax those arms down completely and notice how you feel. Now, one thing I did recently, um, was a little bit of uh, Tai Chi practice. And there's just one thing that I'd like to share with you. So uh, come into a little bit of a, an athletic kind of stance where your knees are kind of bent and, and bendy and your hips as well are a little bent and bendy. You might even wanna just slightly lean forward using that inner corset. So find that nice stance. And this time we're gonna inhale those arms up, keeping the feet grounded. And imagine you have a paint can on your head and dip your fingers in that paint can. Exhale, dip your fingers. Inhale, paint the rainbow on one side. And you can look to that side. <laughs> and just breathe and paint the rainbow back. Let's go ahead and Paint the rainbow on the other side. Maybe it's an exhale that you're gonna paint the rainbow in. It doesn't really matter. And then 
Bring that arm up. Your fingers are dipping in that paint can. Paint the other side, any amount. Just breathe. Breathe in a way that feels good for you. And then return to the fingers dipping in the paint can. Feel that nice, soft uh, wrist action. And then gently left arm paints that rainbow as you watch that rainbow painting and bring that arm back to dip those fingers in the paint can again. Let's do one more time on each side. Painting that rainbow on this side and then come back and let those fingers stay in the paint. Now the other side, paint that rainbow. And bring it back. How does that feel? Now let's paint a heart. So around and down. Good. And let's paint it the other direction, lifting it up and around and let those fingers dip in the paint. One more time, paint a heart. Ah, relax as you come to the point of the heart and then open up and come to that heart shape in your body. Okay, let's go ahead and release and roll the shoulders again. Keep breathing. I like what you're doing, Shanti. Let's all do that. So side to side. Remember, you want to keep the shoulders relaxed, the arms relaxed, and let the head turn and notice what you're seeing as your head is turning from side to side. If you're like Ray, you're gonna naturally shift your weight as you're doing this. You can do that too if you feel good about it, if it feels good for you. There's different ways to shift that weight. Keep breathing, just play a little bit here with a little more side to side or rotation. Good, and then come to center. Let's do a balanced pose. So how about just a tree pose today, any form of tree pose. You can just play with any form of tree pose that feels right for you today. So find your favorite stance, your favorite mountain pose in preparation for tree pose. Usually the toes out are, is a good thing and you make sure that the hips and the knees are also a little bit externally rotated with an inhale shift to your right side. As you exhale, ground into that right foot. And then as you're ready, you can lift that left foot, turn it out and bring the foot to wherever you wanna rest it or press it on your standing leg. These pants are really slippery. I'm not used to wearing these pants. <laughs> Just find a place where you can relax and have your foot pressing gently into that standing leg or resting above the standing foot. And just play with your arms. Any amount, you can stay in prayer pose. You can bring the arms up over your head. You can stretch one side up and one side down. Keep breathing, whatever you're doing. And as you move, you'll notice you may come off balance a little bit, but the more you do this, the more you'll stay balanced. Keep breathing. Keep those wrists nice and soft. You can feel almost as if your arms are moving through water. As you lift your arms, you can feel a little bit of pressure. And then as you lower again, pressure. Now, as you're ready, return to mountain and let's do the other side. So find that mountain pose. Notice how you feel after doing mountain, uh, tree on one side. Exhausted. <laughs> Ray says he's exhausted. I don't believe that. Now let's inhale, shift to the left. Exhale, ground, keeping the knee soft. Bring that right knee up, turn it out and bring the foot to wherever you wanna rest it today. You can vary this every day a little bit different. Keep breathing. And you can either stay here in a prayer pose, notice how you feel, bring the arms up, or just play. Who says you have to be any 
particular way in tree pose. Think of all the different forms of trees in the world. Each one is unique. Each one is a miracle, just like you. Keep breathing. Maybe you'll feel that slight pressure as you imagine you're lifting those arms through water and pressing down through water. Any amount. As you're ready, return to mountain. And here you can shake it out a little bit. Notice how you feel now that you've evened your body out a little bit. Keep those knees soft, keep breathing. Let's do a little sun salutation. Ray was asking for sun salutation recently. We did already did some down face dog. So we won't stay in down face dog for long periods, but we'll do our sun salutation as best we can. So now come to the front of your mat and mountain. Find that groundedness. Engage your inner corset, shoulders, relax away from the ears. With an inhale, stretch up, reach up, and you can lean back slightly, looking up here. Be sure not to sway back. As you exhale, hinge at the hips, dive forward, coming into a standing forward bend, release that neck down. And with your inhale, stretch the spine so it comes parallel with the floor. Keep those knees soft, keep breathing. You can shift to the right and step back with the left and come into a nice warrior one lunge briefly. So bring your arms up and find your warrior one as you breathe in, stretch. As you exhale, bring the hands down, keep breathing, inhale in this lunge. And as you exhale, bring yourself into down face dog, keep breathing. Inhale, nice long spine and exhale. Let's bring those knees down on this first down face dog and bring the tops of the feet down and stretch those arms forward into a puppy pose. Now we haven't done a forearm back up, uh, plank for a while. So let's bring those arms down, stretch the legs out and come into a forearm plank briefly. Breathe. Lower your hips, Ray. The plank, your inner core is working. Now tiptoe those feet forward into a dolphin. Breathe. Inhale, pressing into those arms. Stretch those hips up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, let those knees come down again. Fold back again into a puppy pose, feel the stretch. Slide your hands back. Come briefly into a tabletop. Inhale forward, sunbird, tucking the toes. Exhale, down face dog. Keep breathing, release that neck. Inhale, nice long down, down face dog. Exhale, plank, our regular plank. Keep breathing. Draw those shoulders away from the ears. Lift that belly button towards the spine, breathe. And chaturanga, you can bring your knees down or fold into chaturanga, chin, chest, knees, and then up face dog. Keep breathing. Use those gluteals. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, down face dog again. Keep breathing. You can walk those feet to wherever it's best for you. Inhale, stretch, exhale, soften. Shift the weight slightly to the right and lift that left leg up, three-legged dog. Reach as you inhale. As you exhale, bend the knee. Bring that right foot, left foot forward into this lunge again. Curl your back foot down so the heel is on the floor. And lift into this lunge any amount. As you exhale, bring your hands down. Now gently rock back, straightening that left knee slightly as you inhale. And as you exhale, come forward, standing forward, bend again, release that neck down. And let's come up with an inhale on the long spine. So engage that lower belly, inhale. Long spine lifts with the support of the breath. You can bring those arms up and end up with prayer pose after your exhale. Let's inhale, stretch up, reach up, lean back slightly if that feels good for you. Exhale, dive forward again, standing forward bend, release that neck down. Inhale, stretching the spine parallel with the floor, keep breathing, shift to the left, step back with the right. 
Find your warrior one briefly here. Inhale in warrior one, feel those gluteals working, especially on the right side. Exhale, release the arms down. Keep breathing, feel this lunge. And bring that left foot back, down face dog. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, bring the knees down. Stretch those arms forward, back with the hips. Breathe. Now our forearm plank briefly. Stretch the legs back. Come into your forearm plank. Draw those shoulders away from the ears. Bring your heart forward slightly. Keep breathing. Dolphin, walking those toes forward. The head top dangles towards the floor. Breathe. And gently bring the knees down again. Stretch that spine, puppy pose. Sliding the hands back. Inhale forward, sunbird, tuck the toes. Down face dog, exhale. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale, plank. Keep breathing, feel the length and strength in your body. And chaturanga. Up face dog, keep breathing. Feel those gluteals working in up face dog. That's part of the protection of your body. Tuck your toes, down face dog. Ah, release that neck, walk the feet forward. Breathe, now shift slightly to the left and bring that right foot up. Stretch and reach as you inhale. Exhale, bring that foot forward. And come briefly into your warrior one again. Inhale, feel the length and strength in your body. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, gently rock back, straightening that right knee any amount. And as you exhale, bring your foot, your left foot forward, release into a standing forward bend. And with an inhale, bring that long spine up the support of the breath. And exhale, prayer pose. Good, roll those shoulders, keep breathing, come into a wider stance. So let's do our uh, forward folds and our twist. So you use a block if you like it. We're gonna do this incrementally, moving the block uh, about three times towards each foot. So set that block in between your legs, breathe. Keep those knees easily bendable, okay? With an inhale, bring the arms up parallel with the floor. This first time we're gonna exhale, bring the left hand to the sacrum and just touch the block with the right hand. And then inhale up again. As you exhale, that right hand comes and touches the block, moving it over about three inches or so towards the left foot, inhale back up. Exhale, left hand to the back again, right hand pushes that block a few more inches towards the left foot, inhale back up. Exhale, this time we're gonna gently press that block right in front of the left foot and inhale back up one more time. And exhale, right hand comes to that block, left hand to the back, staying here, breathe. As you inhale, feel the length and strength in this pose. As you exhale, soften any amount, especially the knees, the shoulders, the elbows. Inhale, feel the length and strength. Exhale, soften. Let's now, as you're ready, with an inhale, unwind that left arm, reaching up towards the ceiling and turning the whole torso. Inhale, stretch that left arm up, turning your whole torso. And exhale, return to the hand on the back and looking at that block in front of your foot. Inhale, stretching up. Exhale, return. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Now we can gently bring that block to center again. Release both hands. Release your whole spine. And use this moment for a little traction in your neck and your shoulders. Breathe. And as you're ready, inhale, long spine up again. 
supported with that breath. Exhale, release the arms down. How do you feel? Let's do the other side similarly. Inhale, arms lift. Exhale, right hand comes to the sacrum, left hand touches the block. Inhale up. Exhale, gently take that left hand and press that block a few inches towards the right foot. Inhale back up. Exhale, left hand pushes the block a little farther towards the right foot. Inhale back up. Exhale, fold again. This time pushing that block in front of the right foot and inhale up one more time. Exhale, fold, bring the left hand to the block and stay here this time, keep breathing. As you inhale, feel the length and strength in this pose, like you're reaching through the crown of your head, you're pressing into your feet, you feel the length and strength in your body. As you exhale, soften a little bit. Inhale, feel the length and strength. Exhale, soften. Now with this third inhale, let's unwind that right arm, turn the whole torso. As you inhale, lift and turn. As you exhale, return to looking at in front of your right foot. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, return one more time. Inhale, looking up, feel this nice twist and exhale, return. This time let's bring that block in front of you again and release down. So maybe even bring the block to a place where you can rest your head on the block. How does that feel? Bend your knees, let your knees be bent. Can you bring your forehead to the block? and relax there for a moment. So I'm in a pretty much a squat. And then I'm relaxing my forehead on that block and allowing my neck to relax a little bit here too. Breathe. And then as you're ready, let's come up with that inhale and the long spine supported with the inhale and exhale, release those arms down. You can heel toe, the feet back to mountain. Notice how you feel. Let's get that block out of the way. Shake it out a little bit. Keep breathing. Now, how about, um, do you guys all have walls? I'm seeing Arda Chandrasana against a wall, which is so fun. or Ardha Chandrasana without a wall. You can do it too, Shanti, you can do it. So um, Ray, we're, we'll let, we're gonna let Ray demonstrate Ardha Chandrasana against a wall. And you can just imagine uh, if you're doing this freestanding, you can do it freestanding as well. But if you're against the wall, you wanna come up and so some part of you is just barely grazing the wall. Ray's going to start with his left foot, feet closer together. Okay, his right foot is out. And come into this right foot out, left foot comfortable. And then you're going to, sh not so far apart, be in a mountain pose. There you go. Okay, so take that block in your right hand if you're against the wall and probably like this, okay? Shift your weight to that right leg, lifting the left leg up. And you can slide the back of your head, maybe your heel, maybe the back of your hand on the floor. And that helps to keep you in line. Ken, that looks great. Good, yes. And I like the way you're keeping your knee bent. If that feels, and Ray is too. That looks good. You don't have to straighten the knee up. Now any amount, bring that arm and hand back towards the wall. Bring the back of your head towards the wall a little bit, Ken. Yeah, good. Oh yes, there you go. Tuck your chin. Chin comes down towards the chest a little bit. Yes, okay, come on up. So reverse the motion as you come up out of that pose. How does that feel? 
Okay. And then do the other side. So Ray, demonstrate the other side. He's gonna have his left foot pretty much parallel with the wall, the left block in his hand. Beautiful, Ray. Sliding that right hand up the wall, the back of the head and the heel. Yes, good. Nice. Good, open up the chest, the hips. Excellent. Nice, Shanti, freestanding, that's strong. As you're ready, let your knee bend a little bit more and gently reverse the motion where that got you there. Good, okay. So that was great. Shanti, do you wanna do it one more time? And this time I'm gonna demonstrate Ardha Chandrasana with a block freestanding. So one way to come into it is to place that block, one hand with forward, one hand without. And you've got that block there. Without moving your foot, you reach for the block, lift the opposite leg up and open up to the side. So for me, maybe I'm gonna make that block be upright, a little more upright so I can get more length. Good, Sandy, that looks great. Keep breathing. Looking good, Ken. Now coming out of it, let the knee bend and reverse the motion. Lifting up again, switch sides. Placing the block, one hand width forward, one hand width out. And again, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use the tall edge just for fun so I can get longer in the spine. So reaching for that block, lifting up. This is my hard side, opening up. <laughs> Feel the length in your spine, like you're reaching through the heel and the crown of your head, any amount. Keep breathing, opening up to the side. And as you're ready, Coming out of it, gently bend that knee, bring the foot back and lift yourself up. Good, good job, everybody. Nice work. Okay, now let's do just a little bit of our warrior two practice. So bring yourself into a wider stance. Let's start with the left foot out, bringing those right toes over towards the left a little bit as well. Now starting, this is our starting pose. We're just relaxed in the arms, shoulders, knees. And we're gonna move in and out of warrior two a few times. As you inhale, bend that left knee, bring the arms parallel with the floor and turn your head to look towards the left. As you exhale, soften back to where you started. So really feel that as you inhale, smooth move motion into warrior two. And as you exhale smoothly back to our starting place. Inhale into warrior two. And exhale smooth back to this place. Now this time we'll stay in the pose. As you inhale, move into warrior two. Notice how this feels. As you exhale, soften a little bit, especially the shoulders, the elbows, the knees. Maybe even the hips as you inhale. Feel the length and strength in this pose. Pressing into the feet, drawing the inner thighs isometrically towards each other, reaching through the fingertips and the crown of the head. As you exhale, soften. Inhale, press into those feet. Inner thighs drawing towards each other. Reaching through the crown of the head, lifting that rib cage above the hips. Exhale, soften. One more breath. Inhale, feel this warrior two, strong pose. And this time as you exhale, stay in the pose, but relax the arms down and lean over towards the right. So as you lean over towards the right, you're gonna turn your viewpoint, I mean towards the left, I'm sorry. You're gonna turn your viewpoint from looking towards the left to looking towards the center of the room or the camera, right? So now think of that long spine. 
and open that right shoulder. Roll that right shoulder open, any amount. Feel the strength in your legs, the openness of your shoulder. That's good, Ken, you've got your arm back like that, perfect. Breathe, find that long spine. Keep breathing. And if you wanna bring that right arm up and over the ear, you can do that. You don't have to. If it doesn't feel good for you today, don't do it. If you want to do that, that's great. And if you wanna parallel your arms, you can do that too. Stay here for three breaths. Inhale, feel the length and strength. Exhale, soften a little bit. Strengthening and lengthening as you inhale and softening slightly as you exhale one more breath. Inhale, reach through those fingertips and the crown of your head and exhale. Let's just release those arms down and back again, but stay in the pose again. And once again, open that right shoulder. Roll the shoulder, good. More mobility and shoulder flexuation <laughs> is great. Now, as you're ready, bring yourself upright and turn all those toes forward again. Fluctuation. Fluctuation. I don't know what that meant. Okay, so now your toes are forward. Notice how you feel. And let's do the other side, turning the right toes out to the right, bringing those left toes somewhat to the right again. Inhale, knee bends, arms lift, head turns, and exhale, softening back. So as you come into the pose, notice how your feet feel. As you inhale into the pose, you get maybe a little grippy feeling in your feet. Exhale, soften back, or a little pressure in your feet. Just notice whatever you can notice. Inhale into the pose, this time staying here as you exhale, soften a little bit. Inhale, feel the length and strength. So feel the pressure in your feet as you press into your feet and those inner thighs drawing isometrically towards each other. Notice that. Reaching through the crown of your head and your fingertips. Notice that. As you exhale, soften all of that. Inhale, feel this pose. And this time as you exhale, just gently relax the arms down and turn your face to open the body towards the side a little more and roll that left shoulder this time. Keep breathing. Give yourself more mobility. Now in the left shoulder, breathe. Just for a moment, draw that left arm down and away from your ears. How does that feel? And then as you're ready, bring that left arm up and over the ear and stretch. Breathe, as you inhale, stretch, reach. As you exhale, soften, you can parallel your arms if you want. Inhale, feel that strength. Exhale, soften a little bit. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, soften. One more breath. Lengthening with that inhale. And bring the arms, relax them down again as you exhale, opening up that left shoulder one more time. And as you're ready, press yourself upright, turn the toes forward. And let's go ahead and heel toe the feet back to mountain. And it's time to come down onto the floor again. So it's already time for Shavasana. And please put your feet up into a Viparita Karani if you like that. Find as comfortable a pose as you can possibly find. We got sunlight sparkling on the snow out there right now. And it's time to relax as completely as possible in the most relaxing pose you can find right now. I know that feeling. Okay, I'll, I'll try to be quiet now for five minutes and then we'll come back together. Be quiet. <laughs>
As you're ready now, begin to breathe more deeply. You can start some movement in your body, stretch and wiggle fingers and toes, rotate your ankles, your wrists, take as much time as you need coming into a seated posture. Please be sure to bend your knees, roll over onto your side and use your arms to help yourself up. Put your trays in an upright position. 